What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to our GH Tech TV and this is Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime slash on next and in this video I'm going to let you know some of the tips and tricks, some of the features. So it's going to be a software walkthrough video so make sure to watch this video till then so that you don't miss on any important points and most of these tips and tricks will work on most of the devices, Samsung devices launched in 2016-2017. Now, firstly, let's look at the home button itself. So you can double press the home button to quickly launch the camera application, as you could see, and uh, you can triple press to enter the one-handed operation. So this feature shrinks the screen size. So if you feel that 5.5 inch device is a little big for your hands, then definitely you can use this feature and you can actually shift between left and right, as you can see, so that uh, you can, if you're left-handed, you can use it on the left side. If you're right-handed, you can use it on the right side and uh, all the buttons will work perfectly fine as you can see the multitasking button or the back button the notification tray all work perfectly fine in this mode as well so you can also return to full screen mode now to enable or disable this feature you can go to settings you can uh, go to advanced features and as you can see you do have quick launch camera so by enabling this you are enabling double tap uh, to open the camera application and go to 100 operation and then enable the reduce screen size so that will help you with the, the 100 operation you also have uh, 100 input so the dialer pad and the samsung keyboard gets shrunk to a smaller size so you can use it on the left or right side as well and uh, you do have a smart alert so by using this if you have some unread messages or missed calls so when you pick up the device you will get to know about these things and uh, by enabling easy mute so you can uh, silent or mute the incoming calls and alarms by placing the device face down so in this way you can use this feature as well so quickly going back you do have another thing here that is uh, you can uh, press the power button and the home button at the same time to quickly take the screenshot and you can access that from the notification tray or from the gallery now you can triple press this power button to send the SOS messages. That is, uh, for that you'll have to go to settings and enable uh, the uh, panic mode. So that for that you'll have to go to privacy and safety, go to panic mode, and uh, you'll have to enable send SOS messages. So if you feel that you're not safe and you have some emergency situation, then definitely you can use this feature and it will send uh, pictures from rear camera and front camera to the said contact. So you can select the contacts for whom you want to send this message and this can be used in emergency situations. And once we are here, we also have something called as app permissions. So by using this, you can decide what applications can use your microphone or what applications can use your camera. So you can enable or disable this from here itself. So if you feel that this browser uh, should not use uh, your, uh, uh, you know, uh, the so-called microphone, then definitely you can disable that or you can enable it back again. So in this way, you can control uh, certain things over here. And uh, not only that, but uh, this also has a fingerprint sensor as J7 Prime and Onyx has fingerprint sensor. This can not only be used to uh, unlock the device, but also you can lock and hide the applications from here itself. As you can see, I have uh, enabled the pattern uh, unlocking system so you can use the fingerprint unlocking system as well. So by this, you can lock the application. As you can see, I have locked the CPU Z. You can unlock it from here itself, or you can add uh, some uh, new applications from the list of applications which you have installed on your phone. In a similar way, you can use uh, this uh, lock and hide apps to hide the apps as well. So you can add the apps which you want to hide from the home screen. So, and uh, uh, as you can see, I'll quickly demo that thing for you. So you go to CPU Z, it will ask for the pattern. So I have enabled the pattern unlocking system, henceforth it lasts the pattern. Or else if you enable the fingerprint sensor, then uh, that also works in the similar way. So in this way, you can hide the applications or lock the applications. Now, another interesting thing about this device is uh, go to lock screen security and you do have something called as secure folder. So firstly, through this, you can protect your private data. And secondly, you can run two identical applications independently on the same device. So it's like two accounts on the same device itself. And uh, this can be used to demarcate between private life and professional life. So go ahead and set it up. And in security, in lock screen and security itself, uh, next thing which I'm going to let you know is go to secure lock settings and you do have something called a smart lock. So by enabling this, you can uh, keep your device unlocked 
uh, when the device is with you by using the on-body detection or trusted places. So if you feel that your device should be unlocked when it's in home or office, you can use this feature and uh, trusted devices so you can connect Bluetooth devices and by using that uh, you can keep your device unlocked and also you can use trusted voice. So this is one good thing you can try this as well. And uh, another thing which I'm going to let you know is uh, uh, in other security settings that is screen pinning or you can say pin windows so you you might know this feature in other uh, android versions so i don't think so i have to elaborate on this just that uh, uh, if you feel your device is not uh, uh, protected your private data is not protected when it's in your kid's hand or in your friend's hand so you can lock them to one particular screen and uh, you can follow the steps over here and if you feel like uh, you're not getting this please let me know and then I'll be happy to help you in the comment section. So it's a pretty handy and pretty useful thing as well, guys. So you can uh, use this feature as well. It can be found under other security settings under lock screen and security. All right, guys. Now, one thing which I missed out on a one handed operation is uh, there is uh, something called as uh, assistant menu. So for that, you'll have to go to accessibility and you'll have to go to dexterity and interaction. And we have something called as assistant menu. So by enabling this, uh, uh, you are actually enabling a, a quick shortcut over here. So this houses many of the shortcuts like uh, a back button, recent apps, notification panel. So if you feel that uh, uh, getting to notification tray is a little bit tougher, as you can see, then you can use this. And uh, once you hit this, uh, the notification shade just drops down. So in this way, you can use this. And uh, we also have cursor functionality. So by using this, uh, you can move to the uh, application and uh, you can easily navigate across the screen so in this way this is pretty much helpful so you can enable or disable this from uh, the dexterity and interaction under accessibility so under uh, dexterity and interaction itself we have something called as uh, interaction control so this actually uh, allows you to disable certain parts of the screen for this you'll have to press and hold home key and volume down key to enable or disable this feature you'll have to press and hold home key and the volume down key at the same time so in this way you can disable certain parts of the screen uh, from uh, uh, touch interaction so this can be helped while gaming or so so you can you have to enable this and follow the steps as mentioned all right guys now quickly let's look at one tip in messaging application so as you can see by default swipe to type is not supported for that you'll have to go to settings and uh, you'll have to go to uh, keyboard swipe and here you'll have to enable continuous input so once you do this uh, swipe to type will be enabled on your device so as you can see you can increase your typing speed uh, by enabling this feature so this way you can use this feature and quickly let's move on with home screen customizations but before that i just want to let you know about lock screen customizations and later on we'll move with the home screen customizations and let me put this assistant menu on the top and uh, See, as you can see, this is the lock screen. And from here, you have something called as dual clock. So one clock will show your home location and the other will show the local location. So, so if you're another country, be it Canada, be it uh, US, be it UK, so that will be shown over here in local and home is one uh, which is your hometown. So you can set that as well. I'll let you know about that a little bit later. And uh, here we have uh, some of the applications which can be customized, as you can see. Uh, so if you swipe from bottom, right corner so you'll quickly go on to the camera application now once we have the camera application quickly i'll let you know some of the shortcuts over here and later on uh, we look at uh, some other things as well so uh, as you can see we can use this uh, volume down buttons to quickly capture pictures as you can see and uh, once you move to the selfie mode we do have something called as a gesture so for that uh, we'll have to go to uh, shooting methods and as you can see gesture control so if you face your uh, palm uh, then it will capture the pictures for you so you have to enable this uh, uh, feature from here and uh, let's move on to the back camera and uh, so here if you can if you have something uh, some headphones like this as you can see so by using these uh, by using the volume buttons you can capture the pictures and uh, quickly i'm showing you the demo of that one and uh, you can also use it to control music as you can see uh, you can actually press the volume down or volume up button to capture the pictures as you can see and uh, using these headphones itself you can also control music so you can double press this home button to quickly move on to the next song and uh, you can use it to increase or decrease the volume as you can see 
All right, guys. So as I said, we'll quickly move on with the lock screen customizations. So let's go to settings. Let's go to uh, lock screen and security. And here, let's go to info and app shortcuts. And uh, as you can see, you can enable or disable the dual clock functionality, which I had already mentioned uh, from here itself. And uh, owner information is uh, nothing but uh, if you have lost your phone, just type in an alternative email ID and uh, or alternative phone number so that if your phone gets lost, uh, if the other person is good enough, then uh, definitely you can get back your device and uh, you can take that precautionary measure. And uh, as I told you, you can change this uh, uh, app shortcuts as well on the lock screen. So if you feel that you don't need a camera and you need another, another application, so you can select from the installed applications and uh, you can set it. So for example, if you want Chrome to be on the lock screen, then well, you can have that as well. So as of now, let me keep the camera itself. So in this way, you can customize this thing as well. Now quickly, let's move on with the home screen customizations. So press and hold and you can change wallpaper widgets, themes. Themes are very good on this device, guys. One thing which I liked about this uh, device is themes. Let me enable the Wi-Fi. And uh, if you go to themes, after Xiaomi's theme store, the if, if there is any theme store which I like, that is Samsung. So you can completely change the look and feel of this device. And uh, you can actually, you know, uh, uh, change the wall wallpaper, change the icons, change the lock screen, change uh, the application tray. And you do have a host of different uh, themes over here from which you can select from. Uh, so this is one of the best theme store out there, guys. And not only that, if you have to move applications, well, it's very easy, guys. You have to press and hold and move it onto the next uh, home page. But well, if you have to move multiple applications, then uh, that's definitely a painful thing. For that, this has a shortcut. So what you'll have to do is press and hold and you will get something like move apps, as you can see. So click on that move apps and uh, okay. So just tap on the things which you want to move. As you can see, all get selected. Move on to your uh, choice of home screen and then click on uh, those applications and they'll be arranged from uh, left top corner. So this is also a very handy thing, guys. It saves time. So use this feature as well. And uh, next thing which I want to let you know is, so quickly, let's create some folders. So let's put this over here and uh, let's name it as ABC, all right? And let's create another folder over here. Let's name it as uh, BCD. So as you can see, so we have two different folders and uh, sometimes it becomes very difficult to, you know, get to quickly move on to the folder. You can name it, but apart from that, you can also color code it. As you can see, once you're in the folder options, you'll have an icon over here, paint icon over here. Click on that and select the color. So let's select green for this. As you can see, uh, we have green folder and uh, let's select uh, orange for this and as you can see we have orange folder over here so in this way you it's very easy to uh, you know locate the folder and locate the application and uh, not only that guys uh, once you press and hold and go to wallpapers so you can change between the wallpapers as you can see uh, you do have some colorful wallpapers which you can change and not only that, but if you want to change wallpapers for lock screen as well, you can do from this screen. So many people try it, tend to miss that. So as you can see, you have to select a lock screen over here and you can change uh, to the lock screen. So whatever uh, wallpaper you feel uh, appropriate, you can just keep it to that. So in this way, you can change it for home screen and lock screen as well. So you can keep same wallpaper for both home screen and lock screen. So in this way, you can customize a lot of things and not only that, but you can also customize this quick toggles. For that, you'll have to hit this arrow mark over on the top and uh, at any given point of time, you will only have these 10 applications uh, which will be shown. Now, if you want to have these applications uh, over on this uh, uh, top row, then you'll have to hit edit button. And then once you hit the edit button, you can press and hold on uh, these uh, uh, shortcuts and then move on to uh, your favorite position. So if you feel that s -bike mode should be on the uh, first or second row of uh, quick settings, then you can have that. And if you feel that ultra power saving mode should be here, then you can also have that. So in this way, you can customize a quick toggles as well. So hit done and uh, uh, that will be pretty much done. All right, guys. Now, one more thing in the home screen customizations itself, you can disable this flipboard. As you can see, you'll get to this flipboard uh, once you swipe from left to right. And if you feel that it's a little bit slow, then you can disable that. For that, you'll have to press and hold 
uh, move on to this uh, Flipboard briefing. And on the top, you can see that you have a button to enable or disable this one. So disable it and as you can see, uh, you will have no traces. So I'll actually uh, keep it enabled as of now. And uh, the next thing which I'm going to let you know is about uh, the font size. So let's go to settings and let's go to uh, display. And here we have uh, font sizes. So you can choose uh, between font styles and also font size. So if you feel that uh, uh, this uh, font size is not that big enough, then what you can do is you can go to uh, settings and you can go to accessibility and you can go to uh, vision. And from here you can go to magnification gestures. So enable this and uh, I'll show you what happens. So triple tap on the home screen and you can by pinching in or pinching out, you can adjust the uh, magnifications by swiping uh, using single finger, you can move between the pages. And if you have to move in the single page, then you can use two finger gesture. As you can see, you can use this if you're not happy with the font size. Right. So again, quickly triple tap to move to the normal mode. So as you can see, it worked. And uh, so as of now, let's uh, disable this one. So under accessibility itself, you can go to hearing and you can enable flash notification. So by this, you can actually enable or disable uh, this flashlight to blink when you get notifications. And uh, let's quickly move on to uh, the easy mode. As you can see, this phone does have easy mode. So let's go to settings. Where is settings? Okay. So this phone has easy mode. So if you feel that uh, uh, if, if you have handed over your phone to elders and if they feel the uh, it's it's pretty tough to navigate through this uh, UI, then you can enable easy mode. So we'll have larger icons, only necessary applications, and uh, uh, you, you can customize the contacts as well on the other side. So by using this, it will be helpful for elders and uh, uh, kids. This phone also has ultra data saving mode. For that, you'll have to go to settings. You'll have to go to uh, smart manager. And from here, you can clear RAM. You can enable uh, security. You can check the battery status and uh, you can also have a look at the storage and you can also enable ultra data saving so by enabling this uh, uh, it actually compresses uh, uh, the uh, content which is being downloaded from internet so that uh, even with the very minimal amount of uh, data you can access uh, a uh, lot of uh, uh, heavy pages so you can enable that feature as well and uh, this uh, if you go to battery settings then uh, you also have ultra power saving mode so let me just enable this one as you can see guys, we are in the ultra power saving mode and it only enables necessary applications. As you can see, we can only add a calculator or a WhatsApp. You can only do basic things like calling, messaging, uh, accessing calculator. Uh, that's it. So in this way, you can, you know, get a little bit of extra juice by the end of the day if your battery is below uh, like 10 or 15 percent. So this is definitely handy feature. And to disable this, you can go to more on the top right corner and then you can disable ultra power saving mode. Now, finally, guys, this uh, device also has uh, S pipe mode. So I don't think so. We you need a you know a tutorial on this one. It's pretty easy thing, guys. So it'll actually filter down uh, the number of calls you get, and uh, it'll actually filter down. And the final thing, guys, this phone also has S pipe mode, and I believe you don't need an introduction regarding this because it's available on most of the Samsung devices out there now. Be J two, be J three. Uh, on next uh, on eight right j7 prime j7 so by using this what you can do is it actually uh, filters the incoming calls so that you can ride your device safely it can be actually accessed by uh, pressing the power button and uh, press and hold the power button and you can access this feature so that's it guys if you feel this video is informative give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family and uh, follow us on twitter at rgh tech tv subscribe to us on youtube most importantly thanks for watching and i'll see you real soon